Aniba Stadium, still under repair, came alive with buzzing cultural displays of dance, masquerades and creative talent performances of all sorts, with almost all the town unions that make up the union in attendance. The stage was set for a memorable event, beginning with the march past accompanied with dance and music to the formal arrival of guests to the arena. The organizers took time to ensure that every town in attendance had a stand which made the arena manageable. <laughs> Among the dignitaries present at the occasion was the representative of the host state, Anambra, in the person of His Excellency, Dr. Ken Ukeke, Deputy Governor of Anambra State and Honorable Commissioner for Cultural and Tourism, Abia State, Barista Ngozi Wangwa, representing the Abia State Governor. Also representing former Senator Ani Okonko was Ozo Okechiku Iboniku, MD CEO MCL TV Aba. Dr. S.C. Okolo, President General Association of Anambra State Development Union, ABA, Captains of Industries, Ndiezes, and a host of so many dignitaries at the VIP stand. In his address, the Chairman Organizing Committee, Chief Greg Isotu, welcomed everyone and explained that the event was an avenue to reawaken aspects of our culture that is rich, dynamic, and is portable to other lands and that is capable of generating foreign exchange for the country and promote tourism. The President General of Asdu Aba, Dr. S. C. Okolo, in his speech, gave a narrative of the association, summing it up with the union's latest initiative to build a 400 million naira Anambra house in Aba to concretize the presence of India Nambara in Aba. In their various response, dignitaries and organizers of the event were all full of delight for the turnout and urge for continuity to sustain the growing reawakening of cultural values and expressions among Ndibu. Before now, they've uh, tried to live within the ambits of the law in Abia State to continue with their good work, their trade, their commerce, and of course, be law-abiding citizens in Abia State and, of, and also continue this good work, continue being happy, continue having their leisure, their cultural activities. And once they are in good terms with the government of the day and of course abide by these things I'm talking about, of course we all will live in peace and will always love to connect with them and work with them in, term, in every other sector they may want to involve in. Oh, but I need you for my idea. We put in look we hear me, me, but I want to know what I'm going to do. They call no know for an over the time. The 
Mau Eba, no Zodi Chiche, Ezaga, so Ufodo Maka Funu Roya, Mana Hanchas Yobodo, over on our back all the hats Yoboda Eva Nambara Warebia, so oh, here I go see you my. Uh, for uh, Nakao Montakere, Manakwana in with a culture. It's a day Anambra people wants to tell Abians that we are happy being in Abia, in Abia. It's a day Anambra people want to tell other people that we are happy living with you people and making our money here and helping to develop other state. It's a day Anambra people wants to tell the Abians and our nearby governor that we are part of him. This cultural celebration is coming on heels of the prolonged absence of over nine years, amounting to approximately 3,333 days. It is impressive to know that over 74 town unions attended, while over 49 masquerades and 29 dancers participated. <laughs> The next celebration is expected to be held in four years' time. The derivations of this event is expected to rouse other states in Aba to emulate the trend. Ibube Emeka, MCL News.